Yo, yo guys, what's going on? Alpha here, this is Alpha Psych Wars, bringing you another episode of Clicker Heroes. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody had a really good Christmas, a really good New Year's, I know I did. Um, and I didn't do too much recording uh, lately, but things are, you know, getting back to normal, so it should be a, a more regular thing from now on. Uh, and yeah, I got some sad news for you guys this morning. If you haven't uh, noticed already, those click, click, what is it, click miss presents. Uh, are no longer available as you can see here from my uh, my mercenary tab here uh, I got them all going for gems and souls so that makes me really sad they've been there since I started I'm pretty sure um, that's basically all I ever sent my mercenaries for was click miss presents they were so good uh, fortunately enough I got these here I'm trying really hard not to click I'm like so focused I don't want to click them I'm saving them for my transcension uh, and that'll be my last transcension with them, so, yeah, super sad. They make everything so much easier. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a Clicker Hero video. Um, I don't even know where I left off. It might have been good, actually, to watch my last video so I could update you on everything. Uh, my current level is uh, 3,144. That's, that's my highest ever, um, which is really, really good. I got another, uh, or I got... Uh, the clicker auto clicker skin here the snowman I got another auto clicker um, let's see here what else do I got to show you guys um, I had something right let's go into the uh, let's go in here so as you can see that's my highest ever me and Tad here we're having a bit of a bit of a fight over second place <laughs> which is really really cool I only just passed them this morning and took my spot back, so uh, I hope hopefully you guys have some sort of like rivalry going like that, because uh, it's super fun. It really is. Another thing I did want to do in this video, I'm actually going to do that right now. And uh, like I said, this is going to be first come first serve. So sorry, Tech Nano man, you've been 165 for so long. I just don't believe you play anymore. If this is a mistake, I'm sorry, but. Uh, You've been there for a long, long time. There's no reason you shouldn't have pushed up. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to kick you. And what we're going to do, if I can find it, manage. Oh, okay. So I thought I could turn it to, like, auto-join. I don't know how to do that. Oh, there it is. There you go. So if you're watching this video today... Uh, or if you're watching this video, if you're the first person to watch it and you notice and you want to get in this clan, there's one spot available as of right now. So feel free to hop in. First come, first serve. That's the way I'm going to do it. That's pretty much the, uh, the only fair way I can think of. So one thing I wanted to point out to you guys is some of you guys are a little bit lower and you've been asking me about guilds and stuff. So just wanted to touch base on that a little bit. Uh, you'll eventually get to the point where you'll be racking in enough Euro Souls that you can actually spend them. Uh, to transfer your guilds around and it won't make much of a difference and what I do um, And you probably won't do this right off the start, but you will probably get into it is I stack all my guilds into one person I start with Mazu. I know a lot of people start with the uh, Where you at the ninja dude or whatever where to go where to go this guy here the mass samurai a lot of people use him I just go with uh, With Mazu Wherever the hell he went He's here somewhere there he is I just stack all my guilds on him. Normally I put down one of my auto clickers on top of him and I just let it run. Uh, and then once he starts slowing down, then I actually get a big chunk and I come down here and uh, Alabaster is my next my next guy I plop all my uh, guilds onto. And then normally I stop with him, I'll get stuck and I don't put him on anybody else. But this time I tried Malak and uh, it's, it's working out. I, I have never pushed this far before. It's my first time, really cool. And uh, so you kind of can see here. So Malak, yeah, he's got 303, which is really good. Another thing too that I'm really pressed. My last transcension, I uh, I took away all of my uh, my Zelikil. I don't even know how to say that, but uh, basically I respect and I I went with active kick clicking. And I put 10 levels in chore here, and oh my goodness, is this ever fun. Like, minus 40% ancient costs, and that's uh, hero souls for these, so... I've been able to get some really, really big numbers in here, and that's pushed me a lot further, so I'm really happy I did that. 
Um, my last upgrade, which pushed me up and over the top here, was uh, was this one here. I had 4,000 levels in this, and then I was able to go from 4,000 to 65,000. And then if we look, I should be up to 4.1 E8. I got 4.0 E9 coming to me. So I could bump that up even higher, which is totally awesome. Uh, I think we're going to be doing crit hit this one, though. Oh yeah, we're gonna rock out that critical hit. That should bump me even further. Uh, I am maxing out on Transcension Souls currently, so I, I'm. So what Borb gives me here? Uh, just to recap for you guys, if you're confused, uh, Borb is like imagine you're driving a car, okay? Borb would be the fastest the car can go, so it's top speed. And then Fandoris here. Um, is the acceleration so how fast you can get to top speed okay so that's that's a good way to look at it and uh, where I'm at right now in levels I am capping out on my board which is uh, 1.078 e8 hero souls per boss per primal boss so that's really really good um, and like I said it's paying off I got 4.0 e9 uh, waiting to go and if you can see here, I got 1.3 E9 just for my next Transcension Soul, and that'll be my number four. Uh, this one here, I might actually, uh, I might not stop at 10 and Transcend. If it's going really, really good, and I'm able to push a lot further, I'll, I might go for 15 before I Transcend. We'll see how high this number gets. If it gets too high, then we'll just do 10, but if not, then I'll just keep pushing. These things are going really, really well this go. Uh, let's see what else do we got here? What else can I show you guys? My items, I accidentally clicked my presence once uh, during this. I wanted to save everything for my transcension, but I screwed up and I clicked it. And just kind of as a test or whatnot, I went with uh, with chance for double rubies on all my items. So as you can see, there it's all on there. That's the only thing I really went for. Is it a waste? Probably. Because between all those items, giving 3% each, then I'm probably only getting like what 12% so maybe 15% so yeah I guess it's kind of a waste but I was screwing around seeing seeing how good that would be uh, I'm sitting at 201 rubies for my next uh, clicker which is 350 I probably have that in presence but I don't want to open them until that transcension um, and the other thing too is active clicking the reason I go active clicking is so I can get those uh, those fish and everything uh, let's see here. I still got all my uh, mercenaries, although they went on a little bit of a dying spree. And I spent some candy canes. Reason being is that they cost like 90 some, uh, 90 some rubies uh, to bring back to life. So I've just been spending the candy canes. I think that's like technically I'm saving 90, 90 rubies per candy cane. I think that's a really awesome trade. I know they're rare, and I'm not going to be able to get them, but. If I just let them sit there and not use them, they're, they're useless, right? There's, so I'd rather use them to revive. Um, now that the Clickmas presents are gone, uh, I am going to be sending these guys primarily for rubies when I get the chance. Uh, these ones here are good, but it takes 24 hours, but still, that's a good chunk. Uh, and yeah, these ones kind of suck. They take like a lot of hours for, for only a few. And then this one here I thought was a really good deal. 100% of a quick extension, which is... That's not where I want to be. Come on, figure it out. Shop. So I'll get uh, 3.6 E9 uh, Hero Souls just from that one dude. So that's really, really good. So I'm probably going to send these guys looking for rubies and Hero Souls from now on. And yeah, those click miss presents, man. Those are going to be missed. I'll tell you what. They're so good. So good. <clears throat> Alright, so, let's see what else we got to do. I don't think there's anything else to show you. I am currently stuck, and this isn't uh, a boss here. Or a primal boss, rather. Let's see if uh, see if we can beat him, and I can show you what a, one of my primal bosses look like, maybe if I get to the next one. I don't even know if I can beat this guy with those two skills. Super tough. No, okay. <laughs> That was wishful thinking, I suppose. That's alright! So we're just gonna leave that. No, no, that's not even gonna happen. Uh, I've stopped leveling up my guys uh, for Hero Souls, because, like, what's the point? So we'll level you up. Now, one thing I've been doing, and this has been paying off huge for me, and I really like it, I'm gonna keep up with it, 
is uh, whenever I'm about to ascend, because I have this much waiting, I spend what I have. So this gets spent in the skills, and then this gets uh, as DPS. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been working really, really well for me. I'm going to continue to do that from... Well, I've been doing it for a long time, I'm going to continue to do it. Uh, and one thing... And I was thinking about making another video about this, just because a lot of people are confused, and I went and looked it up, and it makes perfect sense. Is uh, one of these ancients, uh, Morgulus... Morgulus? Yeah, whatever. This dude here, <laughs> when you first get him, uh, it costs one hero soul and it gives you plus 11% for only hero souls that are invested, okay? So, not the ones up here, it's, it doesn't do the unspent ones, it only acts on the ones that are invested, okay? So primarily what that does, uh, and that's if you have no chore, okay? It'll be 10, or sorry, not 10, it'll be one hero soul for 11%. So don't get confused. Now what that essentially does is for every hero soul you invest in this, you will get 10% more damage out of those invested hero souls. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now if you're like me, and you've transcended a few times, if you have Chore, or Core, whatever you want to call this guy here, uh, I have minus 40% Ancient Cost. So when I go look at that, uh, for a hundred levels he costs 60 so I'm getting just about double damage out of these hero souls if I invest them into him so is this guy worth it absolutely I definitely believe he is um, so just to clear that up he gives additional damage per hero soul only for the hero souls that you invest into him okay not for your idle hero souls just the ones you invest okay just so that's perfectly clear so let's go ahead and let's spend what we got. Um, getting this high, like that's that's really high. I can I can spend that on a lot of stuff. Uh, and I, my main focus right now is I want to push further because I'm getting my maximum, which is uh, 1.0 something E8 per primal boss. So I want to make sure that I can push further up into this because I'll get that per primal boss. I normally don't like maxing out, but that's uh, that's a really good number. Wow, I still can't even level him up. All right, I just wanted to check. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, okay, 19,400. Let's just uh, start off by rounding that off, and then let's see if I can like double that or triple that. Let's let's find out. There's double. There's triple. Yeah. That's sick. So that's going to be huge DPS there. Okay, now I still have 2.7 E8. Um, we're going to go ahead, pop some in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That was good. Next. Let's see here. I like round numbers most of the time. Uh, hero cost. That might help a little bit. More treasure chests, that would definitely help. Let's invest some into here. Oh yeah, no, that's good. Uh, chance for 10 times gold, no thanks, that's fine. That's fine. Can I pop 100 in there? Oh, I can, yeah, for another percent. Let's see what else we can do here. Gold drop, boost that up. Can I get up by a thousand? I sure can. I will hold off on that for now until we could do a nice big chunk. That's the other one I gotta get up to uh, bumping up. Maybe next time I'll do that one. And skill cooldowns. It's pretty good having that. Like this thing pops off every uh, almost just under seven minutes and it lasts for. Uh, for over a minute, which is pretty good. I actually had it when I had all those items. I had, I think, 95 or something items when I accidentally clicked that present. What I did originally is I, I equipped items that had uh, power surge in them, and I basically had it so the power surge lasts for about six minutes and the cooldown was five minutes. So this was able to constantly be up, but I decided to go against that. 
and I tried this out. This, like I said, this is a waste. That would have been better. Would have got me further, but it's still fun. But yeah, I had this up. This was up constantly. It never, never wore off. Which is totally cool. I'll probably do that next time if I can. Now with these. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and invest those into damage here, I think. So yeah, let's uh let's bury some in here. Oh, come on, I let go. There we go. Pump up that damage. Now, like I said, for every hero soul that I spend in this, it, it just about just about doubles the damage because I have that uh, the outsider that reduces the ancient soul or the the hero soul cost per ancient. All right, there we go, and I think uh, I think I'm good and ready. I could still push for it a little bit. Uh, okay, let's do that just in case. We might be able to push up into the next boss and get just a little bit more, so let's uh, see if we can. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at the platform, it's like taking off. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Alright, we'll just go ahead and we'll just ascend here. Uh, okay, so... The also, just so you see, that's worth 260. That's actually not a bad item. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put that on. Oh, that's dirty. But yeah, no, rubies are coming in pretty good. This one here is already leveled up a lot, so we'll just go ahead. Forge that. We'll ascend. Oh yeah, it even kicked me down. I didn't even do it! I wasn't clicking, but still, that's crazy. There we go. Oh my goodness, peace and quiet. And it's over. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Okay, yeah, so that gave me my fourth, and oh my goodness. Did... Oh no, that's not actually not bad. That's E8, and last time I got... Uh... Oh, am I kicking at here? Yeah, uh, 4.0 E9, so I should be able to push a little bit further. Another thing I still have to do with my ancients is, uh, since I'm getting so much, I should be able to, like, crank this guy up a lot. Oh, that would be nice. That would be so nice. That would more than double this. Might be wishful thinking, but, uh, we'll see. I got half of that last time, so maybe I can get a little further this time. That'd be really nice. But I'm gonna crank him up a lot more. Start racking in them hero souls really, really fast. I should be ready to transcend pretty soon. But like I said, if it's going good, there's no reason to stop. Like, you don't have to stop at 10. So, if everything's looking good, I'll probably push up to 15. And if it's still looking good, I'll push up to 20. So we'll see how that works. Give ourselves a nice big fat uh, transcension. Should be good. So, this part... I don't know, once you get up there, this is pretty standard stuff. You just level up these guys as fast as you can to drop all your guilds in one guy. We'll get to that. This should only take uh, not very long, so... We'll hang out, chit-chat and stuff while I do this. And then, uh... We'll end the video in just a little bit. Alright, so let's see some of the stats here while we're raiding. Uh, all my clicker stats here. You can go ahead and pause if I don't uh, go over anything you want to see. Uh, gold, hero souls. That's crazy. Hero souls spent 3.9 E, 3.9 E9. And I think that's my overall 4.0 E9. Or no, that's what I have now, right? So you can see I'm starting to get up there. Uh, my kills, my ascensions, almost up to 100. Pretty cool. Highest zone this ascension, yeah, because it just started. <laughs> Transcension. Uh, Ancient Souls, 45. So that'll probably go up to 55 for sure. Maybe even 60, which would be really nice. Uh, 21 ascensions this Transcension. So things are going really, really good this time. Very good. I think last time I was up to like 35 or something like that. 
I zone ever, which is good. Time played since last transcension, five days. Uh, mercenaries, they're getting expensive to revive, man. Really expensive. Those candy canes are paying off huge. Uh, mercenary quests, seasonal events. Total presence open, 2,459. Oh, man. And these forge coals collected, these are like wasted presents, I think. I, th I think they serve no purpose uh, as to just waste your clickmas presents, right? As if you were like bad and Santa was giving you coal is what I think that was. We'll see if they turn into anything. Uh, Candy cane 7, I think I actually have more than that. Which is really weird, I'll have to keep an eye on that because I thought it said like 11 or something when I started using them. But maybe I used 4 of them, that might make sense, yeah. And then my other here. All right, so let's go ahead and see how far, how much further we can get here. 100, 100, 100. You need additional 25, 25, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. One thing I liked about Idol is you get such a big uh, gold bonus that before you even hit level 100, you're actually, you already got, uh, what's that frost guy? The frost guy, you get him before even a level 100, which was pretty cool. It only took like six minutes to like uh, max everybody out here so you could AFK. This one, uh, being an active clicker, takes a little bit longer. Just go ahead, we'll use that. Not that we need it yet. Yeah, not much more to go over. Um, just climbing the ranks. I'm hoping to push a lot further. Uh, like I said, my goals are uh, at minimum 10 Transcendent Souls, or Ancient Souls, before I transcend. Uh, and other than that, that's pretty much everything. Pretty sure I touched base on everything that I wanted to talk about. So yeah, let's see how far we can get before level 100. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why'd I do that? Frostleaf, that's who I'm talking about. Yeah, see, I'm just about there and still two guys off. A few zeros yet, so. Now, this is actually really fun. Um, the level 105 and 110 boss, like, we'll see if any of them come in. Either of them come in primal. They're, uh, it's pretty fun when they do. Yeah, see, 23,000. The 105 boss gave me 23,000. <laughs> that's crazy. That's super fun. And then we'll just uh, quickly wait for Frostleaf here. Oh yeah, one ruby. Beauty. Yeah, another 23,000 on that guy. So things definitely go a lot faster. I am considering uh, respecking into idle this next transcension, but I don't know yet. Oh wow. I'm uh... I'm 3 of 3 so far for primals, that's crazy. Come on, Frost Leaf, there you are. I'll oh, just wait for his skill here. Oh, wow, 4 for 4. That's insane, this is gonna go really well. Click storm. Alright, so now that everybody's leveled up, I don't wait for the Dread Knight. I go to Gilded, I like Mazu. You can do whoever you want, really. Hold Q, click him, he gets every guild. And then, uh, if you don't know, pushing T kind of sticks those. And I just put on a snowman. And that's it right there. Oh, I still have these. Just one? No, two. Alright. Probably should have done that first. Not a big deal, because I'll be switching guilds again. And that's it. Now I just let it, uh... <laughs> let it run for a couple hours, like five or six, four or five hours, something like that, and uh, come back, switch up my guilds, and repeat. AFK, uh, AFK game of the year, for sure. Still loving it, though. I love the progression. I love how it feels like it's a game built for me, like the creator's not trying to suck money out of me. It's, it's, it's a game for me to go in and have fun. I love that. I really, really do. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Uh, feel free to comment down below how far you are, what you got. Go ahead, brag, boost yourself up. I'd love to know. 
And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. And you guys remember to be good. And if you can't be good, just don't get caught. All right, take care, guys. Bye bye.